ghost bus underneath the lamp post in the middle of the night a ghost bus makes a silent stop a strange and fearful sight at the bus stop at your corner something big and green climb down it's looking for your bedroom and it searched all over town you thought it couldn't find you that you were safe and you were sound you thought that you could hide where you never could be found but now it's almost here you know it loves the dark of night there's only one thing you can do quick turn on the light hi everyone i'm nancy welcome to my pad i'm so excited to see you guys it's so groovy that you guys are able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me it means so much to me i appreciate you guys more than you know so thank you from the bottom of my heart if you're new to my channel i hope that you take a chance hit that little red subscribe button over there it would be so far out for you guys to stop in and visit from time to time i appreciate it so much and i hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up your comments of course are always appreciated so before we get into the hashtag playing with me monday 23 just going to kind of quick go over the halloween the halloween stuff in the room so on my calendar my ferrero the 31 day countdown to halloween i must have hit the jackpot because i got two little kinder bars in this day so i have they're both the kinder minis so these are a really nice soft milk chocolate and they got a nice creamy center these are so so good alrighty so for my Halloween outfit I've got another hippie outfit on 60s or 70s hippies I can't leave these earrings in too long they've got the clip-on style and yeah they're killing my ears uh, this time I got the belt that they used and I just kind of put it as a headband like this which is a little bit different than how I did my last hippie dress I just kind of wanted to keep it a little different this one also has a little peace sign peace bro so this one is brown and we've got all these flowers on it it's got this attached kind of pretend peace vest and flower power and we got this fringes it goes down to right above my knee it's just a nice stretchy style it also came with pretend uh, like those kind of like a leg warmer type thing so if, when i wore this uh to work a few years ago i wore those with some brown boots so you just kind of tie it around like under your knee so it kind of looks like you're wearing some suede boots with fringe so it's really really cute love that but anyway we are going to get right into the planner so i want to thank you guys so much for stopping in and we will see you in our next video Bye bye alrighty so I am back with my planners currently I just do two planners one I'm calling my wellness journal they are both by the happy planner and again this is for hashtag plan with me Monday 23 it's an open collab everyone is free to join to show us whatever type of planner you do whether it's wellness gratitude meal planning scheduling for work scheduling for your children's activities, doctor's appointments, business calls, whatever you do for your planner, you're welcome to join. Our hostess is Lene. She's from Fashionably 50 something and beyond. And she had started this in January of this year. And it's just exciting to see new people join every week. I'm in fact pretty new at doing this. So I'm excited to be part of her collaboration. This is for the week Monday, the 6th, October 16th through Sunday the 22nd. This is my wellness journal that I started back in January when I decided, you know, enough was enough. I was getting weaker and weaker and just, just kind of decided to take matters into my old hands, uh, my old hands, my old own hands, and just try to just do some little things to get kind of back into shape. Just So again, it's just little things. Uh, for work this week, I did 59 and a half hours. I use an under desk elliptical while I'm working off and on. Sometimes it's hard to concentrate and talk on the phone and type at the same time. 
But anyway, I've been trying to get back into it. I got 27,321 steps in. I had uh, done that for 7.05 hours during the week. Uh, the miles that I did on my elliptical was 10.93. And my Fitbit uh, registered for the seven days, 12,617. I also keep track of my sleeping hours. Um, I keep track of my temperature just to make sure I'm not getting any type of infections, my oxygen levels, my blood pressure, and then I just mark down anything else that I've done. Sometimes I'm good and I mark in how many hours or minutes I got of reading in and coloring, just kind of things like that to see if that kind of plays a game in lowering my blood pressure, getting off the electronics and things like that. So next let's go to my main planner. Alrighty, so I use the Big Happy Planner for my main planner and I love this horizontal style. It just works the best for me to be able to do some journaling, some scrapbooking and just use the bigger format pictures. They're not going to be making it anymore is what they tell me. I got a leftover from Amazon. So if anybody knows who else has a planner this size with a horizontal, I would love if you could let me know so I can be ready for the year after. But anyway, um, I used this zombie kit. I thought it was fun for Halloween month. And on Monday, of course, it was back to work and lots of coffee. I had worked to 8.30, so I had worked a 12 and a half hour day. I uploaded my planner, the hashtag plan with me Monday, and I wrote Got it, some new stickers in. So I was currently reading Walk in the Sun. It's a vampire novel. On Tuesday, I worked till 7.30, so a short day for me. I only worked 11 and a half hours. I uploaded Timu 2. I got some happy mail. It was my Bobby DVD movie that came in, so I ended up watching that. On Wednesday, I worked again, 7.30, so just a short day for me, 11 and a half hours. I read for about 30 minutes, and I worked on YouTube for about five hours. The picture that I've gotten here is our daughters, Raina and Sabrina. Every year for Columbus Day weekend, we used to go up along the Pemigewasset River up in New Hampshire, and it was just always such beautiful scenery and going for canoe rides and hikes. So that's the girls back then. Uh, it was also trash day. Yeah, I know, exciting. Thursday, I know. Hold, hold your applause. I know I've got such an exciting life posting about my trash days. Thursday, um, I only worked, I worked 12 hours. I uploaded the Color and Create with us, You Rock Art. I worked on YouTube for about three hours and I also finished Walk in the Sun. On Friday, I worked till 8.30, so another 12 and a half hour day. I uploaded my Wine Diaries using that Sixth Sense Sarah or Sarah and the label on that was just so cute and again it was like a Halloween th themed wine. Um, I also did my video for a PR box for Spa Luxatique dressed as a Bobby and I also had a Target uh, grocery delivery. Saturday more caffeine. I had uploaded my BoxyCharm, the Ipsy, the Glamoween. Um, Glamoween, yeah, it just sounded funny when I said it that time. I also uh, did a video for the Book of the Month Club. I did my Ipsy Glam Bag, and I videoed Timu 31. On Sunday, I slept in for a little bit. I had edited the movies that, um, the videos that I did the day before. I had made that Penzella Stoop, which I absolutely love. It's a Rachel Ray's recipe and just easy, easy, easy to remember. So I had made a big pot of that. It was kind of a lazy day. I just worked on YouTube for a little bit. I had watched, probably watched Beetlejuice again and Hocus Pocus. And I just worked on my planner for the week before, getting my thumbnails in order and printing some pictures. And uh, I had uploaded the Ipsy Glam Bag as well. And the pictures down at the bottom. I've got a picture of Rick here with our girls. That's when we were living in Rhode Island and they were getting ready to go out trick or treating. He was probably getting ready to go to work as well and dressed up like a machine tool, a machine guy, machine machinist, because that's what he was at the time at General Dynamics. I've got a picture here of the jelly beans uh, one Halloween. And then over here, I've got Maddie, Matt, and Quinn. He's uh, on a biker, like a bad di biker dude. 
and a Quinn is dressed up like a hot dog. So that was how my week was this week. And again, it's just really fun uh, doing these planners and sharing with everyone and getting ideas on how other people do things. So I want to thank everyone so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. I appreciate you guys more than you know. I hope everyone leaves this video a uh, thumbs up. Your comments, of course, are always welcome, especially if you know a different planner that does this big size in the horizontal. I'd really appreciate it. I hope everyone has a fabulous week week. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Enjoy life. Be happy. Talk to you guys later. Love you so much. Bye-bye.